Hi there folks, in today's demonstration I'm going to show you how I built a task planner agent that is able to reason over my ask, create and update tasks in Microsoft Planner, all from Microsoft 365 Copilot. So this is a custom engine agent, I'll demo it for you now using Windows Dictation. Hi there, can you create me three tasks in Planner? I want one to meet with my engineering team another to test my agent prototype, and my third to draft a high-level design for my next proof of concept. If I send that to my agent, it will start reasoning over my ask, and over on the right-hand side, we'll see shortly how it creates me three tasks. So the agent has done as required. If I refresh the pane on the right-hand side, you can see I've now got three tasks based on my original ask. I'm going to show you how to build this step by step. Make sure you like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump across into the demonstration. So I'm going to start today's demonstration off from Copilot Studio. I'll click top left, new agent, and then I'll use the agent building experience here to create a planner agent that can create tasks, list existing tasks, and then update task due dates. Now, this isn't adding that capability into the agent. It's purely designing the instructions for the agent so that it understands what it can and ultimately what it can't do as well. But we're using the Copilot experience to build out some sample instructions and then we'll move on to adding in that capability through tools later on in the demonstration. So it's proposed a name for my agent, the task planner. That sounds perfect. Our agent is now formally called task planner. You can see over on the right hand side, I have some sample prompts about creating tasks and listing tasks. It's also added one called mark task as complete. I haven't got plans of adding that to my agent today. You'll understand as we go through the demonstration how you add this capability. If that's a requirement for you, you can add that in off the back of this demonstration. You can test your agent via this test pane. At this point, I'd argue there's no point because all it's going to do is try and surface knowledge. We're wanting to demonstrate that tool-based capability. So for now, what I'm gonna do is top right, hit create, and that will create a brand new agent. Now in about 15 seconds, my agent is created and we can see we have the instructions. Those play an important role in how the agent behaves. But in order for it to create tasks in Planner, we need to go and add tools along the top here. Here we can add tools using the connectors across the whole of the Power Platform. And this specific agent is of course gonna be going to Planner. So I can select Planner or I can search along the top for the different types of tools that I'm looking for. But if I filter by Planner, we can see that we have creating a task. If I click on that, it will add in that tool to our agent. You might need to create a connection and then we can add and configure this for our agent to use. Now with the tool added to the agent, the first thing to call out really is a description. That plays an important role in the language model understanding when to call that tool. Create a task in Planner is quite a good description for this scenario, so I'll leave it as it is. But then as we move down onto inputs, you'll see we have the group ID, the plan ID, and the title. These are the same input parameters that you see in a flow, or if you're using it in Power Apps. So exactly the same input parameters, but you get to determine does the agent fill these in or do you fill them in during build time? So the, for the group ID, you can see it's currently set to dynamically fill. I'm gonna set this to custom value. And by doing that, I can use the drop down or the drop up <laughs> to select my group, in this case, Demo Bird 365. Similarly, with the plan ID, if I set that to custom, because I've already selected a group, I will then get the dynamic plan IDs that are available to me, and I have a plan called my group plan. With the title, of course, that's the title of the specific task that I want the agent to create, and currently it's set to dynamically fill with AI. If we go into customize, this is where the importance of the description comes into play. At the moment, the default description is the title of a new task, a maximum of 255 characters. To me and you, that makes a lot of sense, but we need to describe that particular input to our language model, to ChatGPT 4.0, which is the orchestration language model. Now, this is something you might want to 
iterate over if you're not getting the desired results you're looking for. I have written a description that seemed to give me some success. Again, based on the title of the new task, the user might provide one or many tasks, identify each task, summarize it to keep it short if required, and create a new task. You do not need to ask them for a title. So based on that description, hopefully, fingers crossed, our language model understands the purpose of that input. I can save it, and then over on the right-hand side, we can test out our agent. So I'm going to ask my agent to create me three separate tasks, one for washing the car, one for cutting the grass, and one for playing chess, a bizarre selection of tasks. But as you can see already, over on the left-hand side in the planner, we have three calls to that tool. The first thing I have to do, because I've never used this before, is to allow the agent to use this connection. And then, in a matter of seconds, we have those tasks created. Over on my plan, where I already have a single task created for thinking of my next YouTube idea, if I refresh this plan, we will see those new tasks that have been created, all based on that single ask using my test pane. Now my plan for this demo is also to add in the capability of updating details on a particular task to list your tasks, and then I'm going to show you how we can deploy that into Microsoft 365 Copilot. So if that's something that interests you, please make sure you watch on. Back over on our agent, we now need to go back into tools and add in the capability of listing our tasks. So you can see there is an action to list tasks. We can add and configure like we did before. We can check the description, which is list the task and the plan. And then we need to have a look at the inputs, which are currently set to dynamically fill with AI. Of course, I want to use the custom values. So I'll set the plan ID as well as the group ID. I can hit save, and now our agent can list our tasks. So if I ask a question, can you tell me what tasks I have? Our agent will understand that intent. It will call the tool that we have. Because it's the first time I've used it, I'll need to allow the agent to use that. But it brings back those new tasks that I created, as well as the YouTube tasks that we saw on the planner earlier. Now, the last tool that I want to add before we move on to deploying this into Microsoft 365 Copilot is the ability to update a task so that we can assign a due date. So I'll hunt down the update a task action. I can add and configure that. Just like before, I'll have a quick glance at the description. That seems to make sense, and hopefully the language model will understand when to use it. We have the task ID, which is being dynamically filled with AI. And what that means is AI can use the list tasks action to get the task ID. It will then be able to populate that. And if we go to add an input, you'll see that we have all the potential input parameters that we can ask our agent to provide information for. I'm going to specifically choose the due date. I'm going to deliberately leave that as dynamically fill with AI. If we have a look at customize, we can see the date time for the task is due, and it also gives the ISO 8601 format, so probably enough for our language model, our generative orchestration to understand. I'll hit save, and now we have the ability to set due dates. So if I ask can you set a due date for the grass task for tomorrow? And tomorrow is the 12th of October. It should list the task, which it's doing, and then it should look to update a task. Because I've never used this action before, I'm being asked to allow. And then upon doing so, it set the cut the grass task to October the 12th. If I jump back onto my plan, and refresh that, we can see we've now got a due date for cutting the grass on the 12th of October. So what does this look like if we deploy it across into Microsoft 365? In channels, we have the ability to publish to Teams and Microsoft 365. We can select that channel. We need to add the channel and then publish our agent if we haven't previously published our agent. And then once the agent has been published, we can go and see that agent in Microsoft 365. It's here I can add that agent into my experience. So I'll start by asking my newly created agent to list all my tasks. 
and that will bring through a summary of those tasks that I have in my planner. Then I'll go ahead and ask it to create me two tasks, one to tidy my office, which needs a bit of a hoover, and another to arrange a team meeting. And we have those two tasks created. If I jump across onto my group plan and refresh, you can see that I have those two new tasks to arrange a meeting and tidy my office. If we try something like listing the task without a due date, our agent will go away, get those tasks and show me those tasks without a due date. It's listed those former tasks, but maybe I can prompt it. Can you check again? And what should be happening is the tool to list my tasks is run. And of course, it now has those two new tasks that have been created as well. Now, one of the features that I really enjoy about Microsoft 365 or Windows integration is the fact that I can use my microphone to dictate. I can either click on Start Dictation or I can use the Windows and H key to start dictation. Can you please set these four tasks to a due date of this Friday? So you'll see that my text has been dictated. I can send that to my agent and it should reason over that request and update those four tasks in my planner. If we jump across into Planner, I can refresh and we can see that those tasks have appropriately been updated to the 17th of October, which happens to be my next Friday.